Philomena. Uh, there's been many words that have been put in the paper uh, over the past number of days. I echo all of them. She was a, an absolutely formidable woman. She's been my friend for 20 years, and let's put it this way, uh, life was never boring when Phyllis was around. She had an amazing ability uh, to tell a story, and those of you who have been lucky enough to see her in full flow with the holy water will know what I mean. So today I didn't want to, although it's upsetting, and I know it's upsetting for everyone, and particularly the Lionet family, I know you've gone through an awful lot of loss, so my heart's broken for you. What I can say about Philomena, she was amazing. And I'd like you all to maybe remember today some of the funnier stories. And God, we've, we've, we've a lot to pick from, let's face it. Um, so I want you to remember them, remember her fondly. She wasn't perfect, nobody was. But for us, she was a very close friend, my confidant, and I will miss her dearly. Life will not be the same without her. One thing that Phyllis used to always say at the end of a story, she'd always go, and that's that. And so, Philomena, my friend, for everything, thank you on behalf of myself, on behalf of some of the amazing people who've turned up today. Thank you, and I love you. everybody. When I sat down to write this tribute, there were so many beautiful things that I wanted to say about Philomena that I didn't know where to start. None of us have had easy lives by any means, but this is by far the hard, one of the hardest things I've had to do. Phyllis was not only beautiful on the outside, she was also a beautiful soul. She also saw the beauty in others. Although incredibly difficult, this reminds me not to feel sorrow for her death, but instead to feel grateful that her presence has blessed our lives. We are all better people today because Phyllis was part of it. I am honoured to be called her little brother. I would like to say hi to my sister Irene, who was in the USA at the moment and she's streaming this and I'm sorry you couldn't make it Irene but we we love you very much there's also in 1986 when uh, Philip died uh, we were back at Glencore and I just sneaked away from everybody and went into uh, Philip's music room and I penned a little poem. And my sister Philomena loved this poem. Later on, I added a few chords and I sang it. And she liked it so much, she made me perform it at the Button Factory. And I would like to share it with you all today. And it's for you, Phyllis. We started school together. We got tough overnight. You were the black boy. I was the white. They called you names you never heard before, but in the music world you commanded respect. In early December we talked for a time. I thought you had the blues, you said no, you felt fine. You were looking forward to Christmas, you said you know what I mean. My mother was coming over, so was Sarah and Kathleen. But you are gone, but you'll always be here. I see your face everywhere I go. I hear your voice on the radio. The music that you have left behind 